everyone and welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video and I'm very sorry um, that it's taken so long. Um, but what I wanted to um, show you today is that I'm going into just Marine Aquatics and just at the back of the shop and um, I'm going to get a Harlequin shrimp. Um, I've been looking for a Harlequin shrimp for quite a while um, and just asked just Marine Aquatics if they could get one in for me and they've been able to. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds of Asterina starfish that have been equating for a long time. Um, they weren't really doing any harm, but now they have eaten quite a lot of my zoas and I'm absolutely gutted. They've gone for my day glow volcano um, zoas as well. So devastated with that because they're quite expensive a polyp and um, I don't know if it's something that I can necessarily replace later down the line. Not that um, I necessarily purchased them, but it's still, it's still something that you know you want to keep um looked amazing in the tank but yeah so what i'm doing today is getting the harlequin trim and um not sure if i'll get something else while i'm in there i'll have a little look um and then we'll get him acclimated and inside the tank um i do have a sand sifting starfish i've not seen it for a very 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 long time um but to be honest i'm willing to take the risk to try and get rid of the Asterina starfish now that have become ridiculous and um, so yeah we'll wait and see thanks guys okay guys so I'm out of the shot and um, just to show you what I have I managed to get two zoa frags and um, for I think it was two zoa frags for 30 pound I can't really remember actually but anyway um so one was a really nice fake chili lime um frag and the next one was, well, I don't know what it is, Zoa wise, but I'll show you when um, it's under my light and hopefully someone can give me an ID, but it's like an orange in color, um, orange outer frills in color. Um, I also got this frag here. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. And these are yellow pally flowers. Um, that absolutely gorgeous under the light. So thought that would look nice in my tank. I know pally flowers can be quite evasive, um, but I actually don't mind because I want my rock to be out of show now and for things to just grow out on the rock. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to have all my zoas coming together. And then here, can we see this? Can we see him? No. Here is my Harlequin shrimp. Oh, there we are. We can see him a bit better, that way. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's dead cute. Dead, dead cute. Um, so I'm really excited to get him inside the tank and hopefully get munching on these starfish. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to acclimate him for at least 40 minutes, uh, drip acclimate and get him in the tank and yeah, I'll do the same. I'll dip the zoas as well before I pop them inside the tank. Um, not that I've ever had any um, little nasties come out of this shop this shop's really good for for dipping but um you just never know you can get them in any system so it's better to dip um so yeah so i will update guys when i'm back home thank you okay guys so i just got home um here is the harlequin shrimp so i tank i'm just acclimating to the temperature um of the tank at the moment um here is the yellow pallies starting to open up now and then um, the fake chili limes and the, I'm not sure what they were, the orange zoas are there. Um, I'm gonna try and find just some of these Asterina starfish. They are all along the glass. They usually are completely out at night and you'll see, sorry about the algae here, but they're all the way down here. Yeah, you'll also see the amount of um, Aptasia that I've got, which is disgusting. Genuinely not sure how I'm ever going to get rid of it because there is so much. Um, but yeah, we've got some new debranks coming in the next few weeks. So hopefully they will make a little bit of a start and then I'm going to try the reef um, the reef delete look at the size of them 
ridiculous. Um, anyway, yeah, so the Astrina starfish, you can see that they're on some of my zoas here, so they're actually closing up my zoas because they're um, eaten away. Devastated, so they're all over these. So this was the plug that my day glow volcanoes were on. So not only is the um, Aptasia taken over, but also the Astarina starfish. Ugh. Wish me luck, guys. Ready to learn? Bringing an Astorina with him. Get you in. He's not sure about the tank, to be honest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on my mushroom rock where there is quite a lot of Astorinas. Try and bring his with me and see if he wants to go down. Here we are. Sorry, please mind the dirty glass. He's still got the Asterina starfish in his in his little claws. Just to finish up this video, I'm just showing you the um, zoas that I got, or the Palithoa zoas that I got. Um, so there's the yellow ones I was talking about, yellow centers, green tips, and then um, the fake chili limes. And then they've not opened up yet, but the other zoas are here, and um, when they're open, they're like a pinky orange around the outer show. Um, I also just noticed that one of my little bounce mushrooms has decided to um, execute itself. I've just done a little change around on the tank. Um, it's not looking great at the moment because I've just added the NT Labs um, Aptasia stuff. So we'll see if that works, but it's very, very cloudy while, while we wait for it to, to come back clear. Thanks everyone for watching as usual um, and take care.